So Justin Timberlake finally apologized to both Britney Spears and Janet Jackson. Britney and Justin dated from 1999 to 2002. Britney at the time was the superstar and Justin was still with NSYNC at the time before he went solo. Justin has been criticized due to the release of a New York Times documentary following her rise to fame and legal struggles. Justin painted Britney as unfaithful, especially when he came from his music video for his song Cry Me River following their split. Britney also has a documentary where people feel bad for her, especially since her father was controlling her finances, business and personal decisions. That's probably why she shaved her head as well, as we all remember uh, that and it is something to not look back on. As for Janet Jackson, anyone recall the 2004 NFL Super Bowl halftime show incident? February 1st, 2004 in Houston, Texas, the Super Bowl between the Carolina Panthers and New England Patriots, uh, which the Patriots won that Super Bowl. 37-year-old at the time Janet Jackson and at the time a 23-year-old Justin Timberlake at the time uh, were doing a duet for the song Rock Your Body. At the end, Justin tore off a piece of Janet's black Alexander McQueen dress. Her right breast was revealed with the nipple covered by a star bust shaped shield. Obviously, it was unrehearsed, unplanned, and it ruined Janet's music career. Also, she was seen as the villain. Now, there was supposed to be a red lace bra that was supposed to be revealed, but the, the garment uh, collapsed. The next day after the Super Bowl, CBS had Janet release a written statement to apologize and take a full blame for what they were now calling an unfortunate accident. She had to tape and release a video apology. Now, they both got in trouble for that, Janet and Justin, but I don't think they both should have gotten in trouble because it was an accident. It's not like they did it on purpose. But no, CBS still felt like they had to get on them for that. Janet, rightfully so, was embarrassed about the public shaming. But it did not stop. Um, the Grammys from that same year, 2004, were the following week, which Janet and Justin were scheduled to present and perform at. Janet, however, was banned from the event while Justin was allowed to perform. Also in 2004, it was not a good year for Janet. Uh, should have been, especially since uh, her album was coming out. Her album came out in March of 2004. Uh, Janet's singles and music videos were banned from all the TV channels and radio stations the company owned. Her 2004 album, Meet a Joe, which is her middle name, Janet Demita Joe Jackson. Uh, it ended up being her lowest selling album since her 1984 album, Dream Street. So because of that Super Bowl incident, this is what happened with everything that was going on with Janet. Even her album was the lowest selling album since her 1984 album. So it sounds like if it wasn't for that Super Bowl incident, Demita Joe wouldn't have been the lowest selling album. I mean, it still shouldn't have been the lowest selling album all because of her Super Bowl incident. I mean, what the heck? She was forced to resign from a set movie deal she had just signed and a statue of Mickey Mouse wearing her Rhythm Nation costume was dismantled all because of the backlash. Michael Jackson gave his thoughts about the incident in an interview with Geraldo Rivera. How does it affect you then when they get involved like Janet's Super Bowl? Life. Oh, I can't speak for my sister, but... Uh, Just tell me how you responded as a brother and as a viewer. With love. Uh, actually, I was looking right at it, and I didn't see it. I was at a friend of mine's house in La Jolla, Ron Burkle, and in a movie theater was huge on the screen. I didn't even see it. So I heard all this controversy the next day. I said, that's not true. I, I saw none of it, so... Do you think the controversy was overblown? And yes. do you think it's a Jackson-related phenomenon, or is it a testament to our time socially in this country? Well, that's an interesting hypothesis, too. Uh, it's both. I, 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 it's hard to answer, really. I'd rather not answer that one. Okay. Did you, did you call her and say, don't said, start the small stuff? 
Yeah, something like that. Be strong. This too shall pass. Don't worry about it. You know, I've seen worse things. I said, Janet, I once, I once, you're too young to remember, but I once watched the Oscars with David Niven on it, and a naked man came running across, remember, streaking. Now, he didn't get back, he didn't get there on his own. He, that was organized, but nobody, didn't, they didn't say much about that. Thank you, Michael Jackson. That's being the big brother and looking out for your little sister. Man, I miss Michael Jackson. And I'm sure Michael felt bad because I'm sure he can understand what Janet was going through. I mean, Michael has gone a lot himself with the whole media and still thinking he was a pedophile and he liked to touch little boys and make jokes about it. It's like, uh, shut up. Then there's these people on the news making jokes about the Super Bowl incident towards Janet. Hey, uh, Janet, um... Anything happened to you at a Super Bowl? <laughs> As, you know, I tell you, I tell you this. I tell you this. I absolutely am hoping that the Jets go to the Super Bowl this year. I really am. Speaking of the Super Bowl, Janet, how often uh, do you consider that you single-handedly uh, rocked the broadcast world? Policy around the world, FCC policies have changed, and millions of dollars have changed hands as a result of that single did incident I? at the Super Bowl. Not only that, why did I get married when it opens on the uh, 12th here? It's, I think that people will see what a great actress he is. <laughs> Dodge and a weaving, Dodge and a weaving, Bob and a weaving. just me is Janet wearing iron suspenders right now? F you. She looks super cute in her suspenders. Is that the way you roll these days? Is it that bad? It's what bad? What are you talking about? Oh. Nothing's bad, no. Well, yeah, oh, no, I, everything, I everything, everything's great. We're here to talk about the movie. I just think that we should keep it to what we wanted to talk about. It's no, about true. why did I get married, right? Absolutely. Any uh, wardrobe malfunctions in this movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there were Actually, I had a few. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a few. Uh, that's right. That'll be on the DVD when they come out, right? The extras. The extras. Okay, right. well, we'll move back to the movie. Are we the first people to ask you guys about that? Are we the first to bring it up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the first to, to bring it up, which is really surprising to me because we were only talking about the movie. And I got to say props to Tyler Perry for defending Janet because he's like, what are you guys talking about? What does that have to do with the Super Bowl incident? Um, last time I checked, we were talking about the Why Did I Get Married movie. That's what we were talking about. But then all of a sudden, I thought that's what we were talking about, not the whole Super Bowl incident that happened with Janet. We're supposed to be talking about the movie. What, what's happening here? So I appreciate Tyler Perry for defending Janet. I wish Janet would defend herself, but I guess Tyler Perry is like, don't worry, Janet, I got this. Because he knew they were wrong. He knew that they were obviously, um, you know, getting on her about the whole Super Bowl incident. And this interview was back in 2007. Three years later, they still get on Janet about this. And it's mainly the guy on the right with the tie and suit. He's the one that's pretty much really going at Janet. And you can tell that Janet is trying her best to just continue to smile and, you know, just get it together and not let it get to her. But I can tell that this obviously is getting to her. And I know on the inside, she obviously feels embarrassed and very uncomfortable. And I just hope that after the interview was over, I hope she didn't like burst into tears and cry about it. I just, I don't know, I just had a feeling she did. It's like, why are you guys still getting on Janet? Why are you still attacking her? Janet Jackson is so cute, that baby face, that cute smile and very breathtaking. Somebody like her doesn't deserve all that pain. I tell you, man, that Jackson family is going through a lot. To, to bring it up, which is really surprising to me because we were only talking about the movie. Well, if you want to send complaints, we're Case TV Channel 10. No, it's quite all right. We were warned. We were warned. We were warned. We were warned. Hey, if you guys, thanks for joining us this morning, uh, Janet. And no, F you, because you don't deserve a thank you. Man, F the guy on the right in the suit and tie, and also F the guy in the middle, and even the woman for laughing, just going with it. I hope karma come back on their butts. I hope it did. Because they can't get away with just taking jabs at Janet about the whole Super Bowl incident. Let it go. Let the woman live. Exactly, because yeah. Viacom owns MTV that had the, uh, the issue. I just wanted to know what went on. Was it really planned? And I know she's been asked that before, and I know she's right. not going to give a straight answer, but I just right. want to know, like, did, did you and Justin Timberlake say, hey, what if, you, what if, what like if in the middle of it, you sneak a peek? <laughs> what do you say? I can't believe that they would ever do that on purpose. She seemed hot, shocked, and horrified. I'm sure it was. And it was just an unfortunate mm -hmm. wardrobe malfunction, as we've all come to call it. And then the guy on the right, he had a nerve to ask 
as he was wondering about what went on. Did they actually plan this? Was, was this actually planned? Dude, why would you think that? Okay? You can't just assume that they planned it. They didn't, all right? Why is it so hard for you to understand that? Why can't you believe that it wasn't supposed to happen? It wasn't planned. Get over it. Kiss ass. Annoying. So yeah, Justin pretty much apologized. He said he wants to specifically apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson both individually because he says he cares for and respect these women. And he says he knows he failed. So yeah, uh, that's nice that he apologized, but I'm not sure if he really means it because there are some people who say they apologize, but they may not mean it because they feel like they're forced to or for people to shut up <laughs> about it. I just feel like Justin may have felt like he need to apologize because people were getting on him about it constantly. And he just figured that maybe he might as well so everybody can shut up about it. I mean, who's to say? I don't know. He just comes across like that's what he did. He just did it for the sake of it. He really don't mean it. Maybe he does, but uh, there, I know it's just some people that are like that. I mean, that's great that he apologized. But, dude, why did you wait, what, 17 years later after the Super Bowl incident to apologize to Janet? And why did you wait years now in 2021 to also apologize to Britney? You should apologize to them a long time ago. You should apologize to them somewhere in the 2000s. What took so long, man? That's all I'm saying. Like, he should apologize to Janet in that same year the Super Bowl incident happened, or at least 2005 or 2006, somewhere around there. Not freaking 2021. And yeah, that's great. Yeah, you should have stood up for her and said, hey, yo, cut Jan some slack. It wasn't planned. It wasn't her fault. It was an accident. We didn't plan on this. So everybody cut her some slack. He could have done that. And yeah, I know he was young back then, and you know, he was 23. You know, most people do those type of stuff where, you know, they don't know what they're doing and, you know, they don't be thinking. I get that, but I still think he should have stood up for her back then. Things could have been different. Not to mention, Justin Timberlake seemed like he's not that nice of a guy that most people think he is. Because I heard he diss Prince in a song and then he pays a uh, tribute to Prince when he passed away. And people got on him for that, you know, like, hey, how are you going to have a tribute for Prince, but you're the same dude where you had a beef with him, where you pretty much dissed him in a song. Now, all of a sudden, because he passed, you want to pay tribute to him? So, I don't know. Justin Timberlake seemed like he probably not that nice of a guy as people think he is. And there are some celebrities that people think that they probably come off as nice, but they're not. Like uh, Kevin James, from what I've heard, is not a nice guy. Also, Ellen. Yes, Ellen DeGeneres. And it's amazing that this woman still has a show on NBC. <laughs> there you go. Tell me your thoughts on Justin Timberlake apologizing to Britney and Janet. Do you think he, he should apologize to both of them a long time ago? Do you think he should have stood up for Janet when the Super Bowl incident happened? And how do you feel about Janet's music career pretty much being ruined because of that? And the people on the news making jokes towards her about the Super Bowl um, incident. And what are your thoughts on Tyler Perry having her back?